Everybody go tag Cardi B on my last post. Because, I mean, I know everybody doing their little dance challenges to her song or whatever. I decided to spice it up and do something different. So, make sure y'all go and tag Cardi B on my last post. Make sure y'all spam it up. Send it to y'all designers. Put it on y'all Pinterest. <laughs> but, do y'all have any questions about my closet? Also, I uploaded a extended version like where i gave y'all a more closer like a closer up look at my closet but it's on youtube i tried to post it on my igtv but for some reason the video wasn't downloading so i had did like this really cute tiktok that i posted for you guys so everybody that want a close um up look like and not fast like how the tiktok was you guys can go to my youtube channel and i did a full walkthrough zoom in on everything so y'all can go there but what questions do y'all have? Let me answer some questions that y'all have. Because I know it's a lot. What inspired you to do that? So for those who don't know, when I was like um, a little girl, I've always had a little closet. I've never had a, a big closet. Because as y'all know, I have two other sisters. And with they should be in the older sister. You know, they always give the older sister more privileges and bigger shit. So, like, Daisha, she's always had a bigger closet than me. I didn't care if it was a little corn. She's just always had a bigger closet than me. And I was just like, man, I want a closet. Like, I cannot wait to I get some money or just be put in a better position where I can do a big closet. Like if I show y'all my Pinterest, I had like over 40 closets designs that I liked from each closet. So I was just like, I got to do it. I got to do it. When we moved in the house that we bought, it was perfect. So that was what inspired me to really do it. Let me see any more questions. Exactly how long did it take? So for that closet, it took five months. Now, mind you, a job like that normally only takes probably a month to the most. It was just the fact that I had some contractors that was playing and it was just a lot of shit going on. It was around the time where it was Christmas. It was also around the time where in Georgia where the power went out for like almost a week. It was just a lot going on. It just kept being situations where they had to stop working on my closet. This video is supposed to been out. I supposed to been showed you my closet, but I'm not a half ass person, so I can't post half ass work. I wanted to wait till it was literally like completely done. I didn't care if it was the smallest thing that had to be done that y'all wouldn't even been able to tell. I had to wait till I had to wait till everything was done. It took about five months for it to be completely done. That's with building it, getting it designed getting the floors done, putting the stuff in there, getting it repainted, like all of that. Okay, what other questions? Was it stressful creating your dream closet? Girl, yes. Let me tell you why it was stressful. The reason it was stressful was because I'm like my brain and how I envision stuff is so big. Like, I never think on a little level or a little scale. Like, I always think just over the top. So, the ideas that I had in my head that I really wanted to do with that space, it just, the timing was bad. Like, it was just going to take extremely too long. It was going to cost extremely too much to where it was like, I might as well just buy a whole house and make it a closet. Like, it was just too much. I wanted to still keep it luxury, but simple and not just over the top. What I, when I get my house that I'm going to build, that's when I'm going to go over the top. But this is something like to me still. I still could have feel like I could have went way harder. But it's perfect for the space, the time frame that it was done in, and the look. So I wanted to get like a, a painting on my ceiling. Y'all, I was going to go slap. 
Daisha was like, girl, just do that for your house that you're going to build. Like, don't do that for no house that you ain't finna even be in in a couple in a year or two. I'm like, all right, you right. But I was finna go crazy. But it went, it was still good for that, you know. Um, what else? So, this is the thing about the closet. Now, I had way more stuff. I got rid of a lot of stuff because I'm big on when you move into a new house, a new space, all clothes, shoes, it's old and it carry bad energy. It's old energy. Like, I just feel like when you move into a new space, you got to have all new shit. I've always been like that. I've never kept the same couch. I never kept the same bed. I've never kept anything that I, because I just feel like when you move, you're leveling up in your mind, body, spirit. So everything got to level up with you when you move. You can't bring old baggage to a new setup, a new life. So I got rid of a lot of my stuff. So I had to start all over and get all new stuff. That's what took a lot of um, time too, because a lot of my shoes and my closet I ordered. So I was waiting for them to come in. It was just a lot, a lot of work. And I'm still not done. I'll say by the end of this year, I'm going to do another closet tour. And it's going to be like deck decked out. Like that was a light deck out. I'm talking about like a crazy deck out. I didn't even get to fill up my island. I want to go and get like all the my favorite perfumes, like new bottles. So they be all like, like brand new. I want to get all new bottles of my perfumes, my favorite perfumes. I want to have like a draw for all my shades. I want to have a draw for all my, like, hair pieces, Prada headbands, scrunchies. Like, I want to do all of that because my island is so big and it's all glass. So you can see when you look in it, you can see. And I want to have something for y'all to see when y'all look in it. Um, What other questions? No, I didn't do it by myself. I had an actual... I had an actual... A contractor do it but it was my idea like the color the style the placement and also the um the floor colors everything that I wanted to do I planned that nobody helped me with that Are you going to reveal? I already revealed my closet on YouTube. I have, I just posted a full video of it. It was more of a slow video. So y'all could like really see the detail in the closet. So if y'all want to get a close up look of my closet, go to my YouTube channel. How much did you pay? Damn, nosy. <laughs> it was a ticket. Because everything was custom. If I would have went with California Closet where they stuff is like already built and they just put it in there, it would have been way cheaper. But I wanted everything custom due to the fact of the space. Like, it was a lot of things that I had to get custom built to cover up certain things in my closet. That Because that space wasn't meant for a closet. It was meant for more of like a hangout entertainment spot. It wasn't really meant for a closet. So I had to make it a closet. It was a lot of things that I had to put in there. It was no lights in there when I first started. Let me show y'all how it looked. Stop. Let me show y'all how it looked. When I first started it. So, I think. So this is what it looked like, guys. Before I um built it, I had to build a wall. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all that I had to build a whole 
wall. This whole area was open. I had to build a wall. It was no, it was only one light in there and the light was so dim. So that's how it looked. No, y'all don't tag Cardi B on my live. Tag her on my recent post. Go tag her on my TikTok. Don't tag her on this live. Tag her on the TikTok. I want her to see the TikTok and post it and be like, ooh, this is different. I like this. I like this. <laughs> Let me see what else questions y'all got. Because my phone about to die. I feel it. What's the favorite thing about your house? Um, right now, my favorite thing about my house is my closet, but that's only because my bathroom and my bedroom not built, not done being built. So once my bathroom and my bedroom done getting built, then it's gonna be a hard, it's gonna be really hard for me to say that and make a decision because I'm gonna love all of them equally because they're both like exactly what I wanted, and of course I created it, so it's like. My ideas, I'm living in my ideas. Ain't that so cool to have ideas and actually live in your ideas? Like, we all be like, ooh, that'd be cute if this was like this. Like, I'm literally living in my idea, my dream. Like, that shit is lit to me. So, I really wouldn't know which which spot would be the best. Because my bathroom is going to be nasty. My room, nasty. My sitting area, Nasty. The whole house, nasty. My backyard, bitch, nasty. Okay? Y'all not done. When I, when I, get, no, I mean, I'm not done. But when I get done and I show it, like, I'm going to show it all, like, together when I get completely done. Y'all going to be like, where do I pay? Like, can you just come and just remodel my whole house? Like, where do I pay? What question? Because I need to mind y'all business. Don't worry about how much it costs. Just know it was a ticket. Okay, I got this. Just know it, it, it costs a car. What you would pay for a car, a vehicle. That's what it cost. That's all I'm giving y'all. I ain't disclosing no prices. But just know it costs a vehicle. When is my room going to be done? Y'all, to be honest, I don't know. I kind of had got like a brain fart with my room. Like y'all know when y'all kind of get stuck. Because I went so hard with my bed that I was like, damn, what else can I do in here? Because I want my bed to be my main attraction. I don't want nothing else in my room to stand out like my bed. I want my bed to be the main thing. So I'm doing other little stuff in my room, but it just got to make sense for where it don't take away from the bed. So I don't know when my room going to be done, but I'm going to try to have it done in less than... For y'all, I'll try to have it done less than two months. I'll say that. I'll try to have it done in about two months. Because I'm. it's still stuff that I want to get that I've been looking up. And I don't like just ordering stuff trying to hurry up and put something together i like to take my time because i'm very indecisive and i always change my mind i'll buy something and be like damn i don't want it and call and get a refund i'm really like that so i don't be rushing to buy stuff no more exactly see tasha know what it is she said don't do nothing to it just nice simple and clean i know that's what i'm trying to give i don't want to be too extra with it but my treasure boxes that i'm getting made are going to be extra mm -hmm. what 
when I move into my other house. Okay, so no, my ideas aren't going to change. They're just going to get more advanced because when I move into my other house, I'm pl- I'm going to actually have the opportunity to custom build every single thing. Like I'm going to be able to build my kitchen, my hallway, my staircase, the entrance, the whole house. I'll be able to build everything with completely all my ideas. So, of course, it's going to be like that shit is going to be dead, dead. So I'm planning to do that. And like, like, I only want to stay in the house that I'm in now for like at least two years. I don't want to stay in that house no longer than that. I want to start like going ahead and building my dream house because that's where I'm going to like officially like start my family at. You get what I'm saying? Like this house that me and Daisha got, this was just an investment property that we got together, you know, to both help us so we both can buy our own houses separately so we was just like let's just get this house together and then in two years we get our own houses because you got to start from somewhere and this was our first house that we ever bought we was rent we was either staying when we first started we were staying our parents and then we was renting and going from renting to this big ass house it's like damn so now we're gonna be good because our purchase history is going to be good so it's like we can get what we want we don't have to like get bare minimum we can get exactly what we want y'all is going see y'all be over here just going crazy in these comments mind y'all got damn business Well, I mean, for right now, you know, me and Daisha, we've always lived together and we've just always, and it's never been that we can't live separate. We've lived separate one time before, but we didn't like it. We started to feel like it was separating us. Like y'all know how y'all just be so close to y'all siblings and y'all always talking and y'all always just one. It started to feel like we didn't have time for each other and we just wasn't in sync no more. Like I started to feel like I didn't even know my sister no more. Like when we lived separately and it was taking a toll on our career, our content, just everything, because it was like, we literally both had two separate lives and we just didn't like it. So we had ended up moving back in with each other to get back on track and to get back in sync and start back, you know, doing what y'all love to see us do. And so I feel like now we're ready, like we're in that space in our head where we like, all right, we know how to move now. We know how we got to communicate. We just know how to do shit now. But we still going to live by each other. Like when we build our houses, we're going to buy like a four acre lot and we're going to build our house right next to each other. So it's going to be one lot with both of our houses. So if I want to see Daisha, all I got to do is walk outside and go to her house. But I'm going to probably build like a bridge to where I can get to her house and she can get to my house without having to like open a front door and actually walk outside. I'll be able to just walk over to her house. So that's our plan for our custom built houses that we're building. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> really? Okay. Nah, cause he fake. Let me tell y'all about him. When he be doing his little Insta stories and all his little videos, I be trying to stick my hand in there. I be trying to stick my hair in there. I be just trying to let him know, like, yeah, he with his bitch. And he be like, stop! Get out my video! You messing up my videos! Move! I'm trying to record something. And then he just gonna come over here and stick his little turkey neck ass in my damn live. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Wow. You see how niggas do? Y'all see how niggas do? Mm-mm-mm. You just came here to do it. You just came here to do it. You just came here to do it. You missed so. Okay. Ryan, go sit your little beetle bug head ass down. Bye. <laughs>